Hi, welcome to yet another video of Quantity Surveying Studio. So in this video, we'll be looking into another checklist and that is on extra low voltage works, ELV works. Under this system, there are a lot of subdivisions. So if you see here in this checklist that I have prepared, you can find fire alarm system and the, all the components that comes under that cables, wires, equipments, containments, devices and the outlets. So majorly these are the different components that comes under each ELV system. So ELV system, you might be knowing there are different types of ELV system. One is fire alarm system. There is the information and communication technology system, ICT. We have voice evacuation or public address system. Security system, the cameras, access control system audio visual system, telephone system, BMS building management system, GRMS guest room management system, parking management system. So these are the different like the main components or the main branches of an ELV system. Now depending upon the project there might be some system there might not be some system for example I think fire alarm system is now compulsory for all types of projects information technology also is important voice evacuation also is very important security system again depending upon whether it is required in that project access control system again maybe for residential projects this might not be very important but in commercial projects it is definitely very important audio visual system again for residential projects not that important telephone system also BMS again depending upon the type of project GRMS is mainly for resort hotel type of projects hospitality projects parking management system again for malls commercial now the basic components in each system is almost almost similar if you see it is the common things here cables and wires will be there for all the system the equipments the racks and panels will be there for all these systems only the specifications will change containments again will be the same for the different system ducts trenches conduits depending upon what is used in that project and then the devices and outlets so that will keep on changing for different types of projects so for example in fire alarm system the devices and outlets will be the detectors heat detectors strobes all those items for ICT, it will be mainly the data outlets, the wireless access points. Then for voice evacuation, public address system will be the speakers. Then the security systems, obviously the cameras. Then access control system will be the card readers, door locks. AV system, it will be mainly the, again, speakers, then the projectors, TVs. Telephone system, the telephones, wireless telephones or different types of telephones. BMS system will be like integrating the major equipment. So all those points, the BMS points for each type of equipments. Guest room management system will have the, the different types of tablets or phones or switches, the sensors. Parking management system is again the sensors used in the basement for parkings. So only the types of devices will keep on changing. And again, depending upon your project, your type of project, there might be new ELV systems also, specialized ELV systems. So that also you can include in this checklist. And here as usually, like any other checklist, I made a column for unit of measurement. You can put whether it is it has been measured in meters, numbers, meter cubes, meter squares. Then this column is if it is measured and included in the BOQ. So that particular item you can highlight it with green or any other color. Then there might be some items which has been assumed and included there. It might not have been given in the drawings but as an experienced QS you would be knowing that this item is re actually required. So you will assume and put that particular item and there might be some item which is not at all applicable and and then since it is not applicable it is not included in boq 
for the cost plan so maybe some entire system it not might it might not be applicable so you can highlight those in those color and some items would be included in the provisional sum so the design would not have been developed during that stage in which you are preparing the cost plan of your queue so you will be putting a provisional sum so all those items you can highlight it here so try to include all the elv systems here this so this one sheet is enough for the entire elv checklist mostly elv is something that is done by specialist contractor and most of the times as a main contractor or consultant we overlook this elv system we think that okay this is not really important or the costing or the pricing of this system is not that huge so we could assume some price for the same but this is really a, an integral part of any project any building and mostly what from my experience what i have seen is the variations happen and this elv system because in the tendering stage you don't give much care to these items you just assume some quantities for these items but during the actual execution stage the quantities tend to increase or there are a lot of other new quantities that comes into the picture like the variation comes into picture for these elv systems so hope this small checklist video has been useful if you require it again like other checklists you can mention your email id in any of my social media accounts cut the link to my accounts has been given in the description so you can just click through it and just message me either in linkedin instagram facebook because i don't think youtube takes the email id as comment so please don't forget to subscribe to quantity surveying studio keep learning take care bye